Hello friends, welcome to my channel, myself Prag Zambulkar. In this video, we will see how to achieve synchronization in Selenium. But before that, we will see what is the use of synchronization. Now see, here I have opened this website, book my show. Now see, here if I scroll down, so here see. Now if I click on Marathi, so I'll, I can see Marathi movies, right? If I click on Tamil, so I can see Tamil movies. Now see, when I click on Marathi movies, see, so it takes some time to load this thing, right? So to get this thing, it takes some time. Now see, when we write Selenium code, what happens? See, we'll write code to click on this Marathi. And after that, suppose I want to select this movie Chandramukhi. So we'll write code to click on this Chandramukhi, this poster, right? When we write code for this, but when that statement is executed at that time, it might happen that web element is not present or it, it is not existing there. And because of that, we may get error that no such element. Uh, I will show you example for this. See, same example. So what we are doing, first we are clicking on Marathi, same website, same website I am taken. And after that, we are clicking on this Chandramukhi poster, right? We will see. see. I am running this. Now see. So see, actually what we want, see, it has clicked on Marathi, right? And what we want, what code we have written, we should click on this poster. See, here we have mentioned. We have to click on this Chandramukhi poster but we got error see at 15 line number 15 we have error and what is that error if we scroll up so here you can see no such element exception that means that element is not present and at line number 15 see here we can see in, at line number 15 no such element means this element is not present this web element is not present though it is there but see when we click on this when the, uh, uh, we click on this marathi it takes some time to load this and because of that we get error and for this purpose we have to synchronize it now see in selenium there are various ways to achieve synchronization famous ways are this implicit weight explicit weight and fluent weight but up till now means whatever the video that we have seen up till now so there also we have achieved this synchronization and for that purpose there we have used this thread dot slip method right and here in bracket we are mentioning some time that is in millisecond for example if i mentioned 10,000 that means it is 10 second right so previously we have achieved synchronization but by using this slip method there is one drawback by using this method and to avoid that drawback, we can use implicit weight, explicit weight or fluent weight. We will see what is the meaning of this. Now see, when we are using or when we are calling this slip method and here I am mentioning 10,000 millisecond. That means 10 second, right? So our program, there it will halt, it will stop for 10 second. What I am saying, when we are calling this slip method and here I have mentioned 10 second, so our program will get halted for 10 seconds. But see, how much time it is taking? 1 second, sometimes 2 seconds, right? But here, here, as we have mentioned 10 seconds, so our program will get halted for the 10 seconds. Though it is not necessary. As we have mentioned 10 seconds, so you see, uh, sometimes it may take 1 second, sometimes it may take 2 seconds. If our internet speed is slow, so it may take 3 seconds, 4 seconds. But different instance, it may take different time, right? But unnecessarily, our program may stop for more time. And to avoid that, we have this wait mechanism. Now see, uh, so in next video, we'll see how to use implicit weight, how to use explicit weight, and how to use fluent weight. In this video, we'll see what is the meaning of implicit weight, explicit weight, and fluent weight. Now see, so up till now, already we have seen how to use this slip method. So what we will do, now see, here we will add one line. So what are the approach that we have used up till now? So we will do thread dot slip and here suppose if I mention 2000 millisecond, 
that means two second right now see i have mentioned here city is showing this red line so i am taking cursor over here so we have to add throws declaration see i am clicking here now see this uh, throws interrupted exception this statement is added there and that it was showing this red line okay it is also removed now see i have saved program and will run it So see, browser is getting opened. So see, clicked on Marathi, and also it has clicked on Chandramukhi, right? The poster it has clicked, right? So previously it was not done, right? But now it is done. Why? Because now here we have added this wait mechanism, right? Here we have halted that program. This is also one kind of synchronization, right? But there is one disadvantage, right? So see, sometimes suppose it is taking 500 millisecond. Sometimes it is taking one uh, 1000 millisecond. Suppose sometimes it is taking 1200 millisecond. But every time, see whenever because whenever the statement is getting executed, so we are halting our program for the 2000 millisecond. That means two second. Though sometimes it may take different time, but still compulsorily we are making it halt for this many second. Now see. To avoid this drawback, we have another mechanism that is this implicit weight, explicit weight, and fluent weight. Now we'll see what is the meaning of this. First is implicit weight. In implicit weight, we globally set some waiting time. So, for example, suppose I'm setting 10,000 milliseconds. So, this is a global time in the sense, suppose for every web element. It will at max it will wait for the 10,000 millisecond that means 10 seconds right so for every web element at max it will wait up to 10 seconds so before giving error no such element exception before that it will wait right so it will wait up to 10 seconds this is called as the implicit wait now see this is we are setting globally right so for it it will be applicable for the every web element means it will check if any web element is not present so it will wait for this much time second is explicit weight here we can mention weight for particular web element for particular web element for example see suppose for any web element i want suppose 10000 or whatever it is 5000 or 2000 time that whatever the time that i am mentioning there 10000 milliseconds suppose for this example so any web element is not present for this much time so it will wait so we here we can mention for the particular web element for example see here so see uh, when i click on marathi so it takes some time right it is taking some time to load after that suppose see i am clicking on chandramukhi then I am going back and then I am clicking on English suppose I am clicking on English right and after that I am clicking on this top gun right so see when I am clicking on English so again it will take time right when I click on this English again it is taking time and so for this see when I clicked on Marathi so it took some time to load this so for this web element I can mention some waiting time when I click on English again, it took some time, right? So at that time for this to load this again, I can put some explicit weight. So for particular web element, I can mention waiting time in implicit weight globally. We have mentioned so see for it is applicable to all the web elements. Any web element, if it is not present, if it is not existing for this much time. So for this much time, it will wait. Here for particular web element, we can mention waiting time. Now see third is fluent when and uh, in many interviews, this question is asked, what is the fluent when? Fluent weight is nothing but explicit weight only. It is special type of explicit weight. Now what is the meaning of this? See fluent that I told fluent weight is explicit weight. Now fluent weight is explicit weight means here we are waiting for the particular web element, right? Now what is a special type? So what is special thing here? Here there is a polling. Special feature is there is one polling. In explicit weight, when we are mentioning this 10 second or 10,000 millisecond, so it will continuously monitor. Right? It will continuously monitor. Every millisecond it will monitor. 
but in flamed weight here we can mention polling tape so see suppose we have mentioned total waiting time 10000 millisecond suppose i have mentioned like this polling time polling waiting time you can say suppose i have mentioned 2000 millisecond now what is the meaning of this see total time is 10000 millisecond but it will observe it will check only after the 2000 millisecond or 2 seconds simply i will take this second so that will be easy to understand 10 second and here i am taking 2 second now see if i have mentioned polling time 2 second meaning of this is it will check that wave element only after 2 seconds. If at that time that wave element is not present or it is not existing, so up next after 2 seconds again it will check. If it is not present after 2 seconds again, so again it will check after 2 seconds. Again at that time it is not present, again it will check for 2 seconds. Means see, after 2 seconds it will check. After then, after 4 seconds it will check, then after 6 seconds it will check, then after 8 seconds it will check, then after 10 seconds it will check. And 10, total waiting time, we have mentioned 10 seconds. So, after that it will get time out and we will get the error. If after 10 seconds also it is not existing, so we will get the error. That no such element exception. So, here we are mentioning this polling time. Means it will check after 2 seconds, right? But that is not the case with the explicit weight. In explicit weight, every millisecond or every moment it will check whether that wave element is existing or not and here in flamed weight it will check for the after the polling time suppose it is a three second suppose i have mentioned polling time three second so it will check after three second suppose i have mentioned three second so it will first time it will check after three second if it is not present so after six second it will check if it is not present after six second so it will check after nine second right likewise it will so this is a flint weight and it is a special type of explicit weight and where we can use flint weight see if we are knowing so for certain wave element it will take three seconds so suppose already we are knowing so to load that wave element it will take three seconds so unnecessarily to monitor every millisecond or every moment what we can mention we can mention the polling time so that after every three seconds it, it can check right so that is the use of fluent weight but fluent weight is not that much useful same thing we can achieve by using the explicit weight and implicit weight also in some cases where we know that to load that wave element it is taking some time so we can mention that time in polling time so this is the use of fluent weight so in this way we can synchronize in selenium by using this method red dot sleep that is the one way but this is not the optimal way better way is to use this implicit weight or explicit weight or fluent weight in next videos we'll see how to write code for implicit weight after that we'll see how to write code for explicit weight and in next video we'll see how to write code for the fluent weight so friends i hope you like this video if yes then click on like subscribe to this channel and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video so stay connected thank you